right, well, this is a very quick video on how to export a flex rigid design that is in a position that is not just simply uh, flat out. And Altium can do this. Uh, it wasn't originally available when Altium first made flex rigid. It was something that was requested of the user base and Altium did oblige. I am using Altium Designer 6.0, which was released here in uh, 2016, I believe in April. And I'm going to demonstrate it right now. What I've got up right now is the Bluetooth Sentinel. This is one of the designs that Altium provides when you download Altium Designer and install it onto your machine here. What I simply have up is the PCB dock. So if I go into projects here, in fact, I don't even have the entire project up. I simply do have the PCB dock up here. I'm in the 2D mode. I'm going to hit the three key here. So we'll take a look at uh, this design. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of straighten it out by hitting the zero key. So we've got our design and this works fine and dandy, but if you wanted to export this so that it's in a different position or you want to fold it, you can do that as such. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over to the PCB panel. I already have it up here. If you're looking for it, it's gonna be in the bottom right corner. You click on PCB and you'll bring up what's just called the PCB panel. All right, under the PCB panel, there are a number of, let's say, sub panels. The one that you want to be on is called Layer Stack Regions. And in Layer Stack Regions over here, they're going to show you all the different regions of your boards. And then from there, you can actually set up uh, these different, uh, what they call region names, and whether or not they're going to be locked in position or if you want them to be able to flex and bend. All right, so there you go. There's some of this information here. Here's the flex side of it. All right, and if you look at the flex side, obviously that's the side that can bend as opposed to the rigid side. But in addition to that, once you've set this up and you give the radius and the angle, you can now use what's called the fold state over here to show that order in which this was set up. Okay, so I'm gonna do this partially like this. I'm now gonna hold down my shift key, right mouse click, so you can see this. All right, so this is what I'm gonna export out. Now for me to export this out, I'm gonna go into File, I'm gonna go into Export, and then I'm gonna go into step 3D, okay? And it's gonna ask me where I wanna save this, all right? And for this uh, purposes of this uh, demonstration, I'm simply gonna go here uh, into my, uh, again, my desktop and we'll save it under step example, all right? So here's Bluetooth Sentinel.step, that's fine, I'll save it there. It's gonna ask me what was the folded rate that I wanted at. So since I've already set up the fold up rate, uh, it's got it kind of already set for me, so I'm already at what they, they're calling 69%. Uh, I'm going to leave everything else over here and I'm going to press OK. So Altium is now going to generate that step file and now it says that it's done. Now to show proof that it was created as a step file, I'm going to go back over to my projects panel. I've already created another file called uh, pcb1.pcbdoc, just basically did a file new and then asked for a PCB and there we go. There it is right here. All right, and I'll zoom it out just a little bit. Now let's bring this in. In order to bring in this step file uh, from a PCB level as opposed to a footprint level, I am going to go into place PC 3D, P, uh, 3D body, and then I'm going to make sure that I am on generic 3D model because by default it's usually on extruded. So generic 3D model, I'm going to load the file. So again, I'm going to go over here to my desktop, okay, and I'm going to go over to our step example, and I'm going to bring in the Bluetooth set and I'll press open, all right? Not going to worry about anything else at this point. I'm just going to bring it in. In fact, I'll put it off here to the side uh, so it's a little easier to see. All right, so there's our step model. Let's hit the three key to see what we really got from it. So I'm going to hold down my shift key, right mouse click, and you can see, I'm going to zoom it in a little bit, and you can see now that we've got this. And you just notice that obviously it picked up whatever color um, Altium had put the, uh, sil the solder mask, pardon me, and also whatever colors it had uh, for the... Uh, for the components itself, and that's about it. You're not going to get any of the uh, traces. You're not going to get any of the vias. It just makes the step files much too large. You're also not going to get any of the silk with it as well. If you're interested in those type of things, there are tools to assist like Desktop EDA, which we here at 9.connects do provide if you're interested. But if you're just simply trying to get this to fold, this is how you do it. So uh, thank you very much. Hopefully this brief presentation will get you on your way.